all right i just finished getting prepared uh it's about 9 30 at night and tonight around four in the morning i'll be heading down to uh, cape canaveral for the red snapper opening season which is only four days uh of opening season and the weather is terrible uh, for the last three days so tomorrow will be the best day and I'm gonna try to take advantage of that because if I don't catch one red snapper this season I have to wait the next which I can't believe there's only four days out of the year to catch red snapper but I'm gonna take advantage of that and I can only bring one home which it's a terrible deal too but anyway I don't have a lot of things prepared for one day I got my fishing poles there and I put a little tower there uh, around the uh, metal parts of the fishing pole that way they don't with the vibration they don't mess up the uh, deck of the boat I did some mechanical work on the boat and I also came down here to the hydraulics make sure everything's running good and I also went to the engine open it up make sure everything was running great since tomorrow I'm gonna be running close to 50 nautical miles and I want to make sure everything is running perfect and in the fridge I have plenty of water, uh, beverages. I got my meals here. I got two meals. All right, so I'm going to be ready at four in the morning. See you then. early in the morning and sun is about to come up probably in a half an hour maybe so right now you just gotta head to the uh, fishing ground there's a buoy right there in the front of the radar so from here I gotta avoid that one so I'm gonna have to take the uh, autopilot out that way I don't crash into that buoy there today I think it's gonna be some light raining but that is it light raining there's a buoy right there see it gotta avoid that buoy All 
right, I started trolling a little bit before I get to my destination. Uh, mostly because of that ship. It's about to intercept with me here in the front. See right there? So I'm giving him more time for him to cross in front of me. And I'm going about seven miles per hour. Let's see if I can catch something trolling. And that way I don't waste my time here. But he is right in my path of my fishing point which is over here in the front and he's about to cross already here so I'm just gonna let him do his thing first since he cannot stop that easy and I'm gonna go a little slow and try to troll so autopilot is guided itself forward he's right right in the path of my fishing point There's always something moving at sea. That's the big ship. Looks like an oil tanker. Just looking for the spot that I'm gonna anchor on. I got everything back there ready while I was strolling. I didn't waste any time. So now I'm gonna look for structure at the dead finder. Alright, I already anchored in a spot, but the current pushed me off the reef that I wanted to be in. So now I'm gonna reposition a little bit further so the way the current pushes me on top of the reef. This time I separate the leader a lot more. So that way I got a better chance of catching two fish. All right, there we go. Woo, I think I got something there. Yep, I already got something here. Didn't take that long. I think I lost it. I got a big, big fish here. He is humongous. Look at that. He's taking all the drag on my pool here. He is big. Come on. He is big. Look at that. Look at that. Giving up. He 
is huge. Look at that. Woo. Pole's coming apart. There it is. Whatever it was, snapped everything. The leader, the weight, everything. Whew, that was a big boy. But we lost him. Till next time. And this is a hundred pound test. Okay, I have to change the strategy to a 12 feet leader because there's some huge structures on here. So now when it reaches the bottom, I'll keep the leader up. That way the structure doesn't break my uh, leader. Once I feel I have reached bottom, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna let the leader be next to the reefs. Got away. gloves I'm gonna try them see how good they are the last time I cut my hands a little bit with this crazy snappers all right these gloves have a great grip I got another one
another one. Take it out. There it is. Look. Yeah, he, he, he got the hook. Look what he did to the hook. Look at that. Strained the hook out completely. I told you it was a big fish. A little snapper. That's a nice snapper right there. It's a beautiful day today. There's no rain in sight. It's beautiful. There's a little bit of breeze. So it's awesome because that way um, it's not gonna be that hot. But right now it's 10.51, so about 10.30, I'll get back to fishing. I just need to take a little break because 
um, I woke up at 3 in the morning. So I really need to get a little bit of rest. So I can keep on going. That big ship that is arriving right there. He's coming right towards me. And he's turning a little bit to the right to avoid me. For right here in the radar. He is 2.4 miles. But he's getting very close to me. This is a fishing area here. So I don't know if it's going to deviate or am I going to have to pick up anchor. I think he's turning more towards the right to avoid me. But he was coming straight at me. You can hear some lightning. I'm going to zoom out to see where that storm is at. You can hear the lightning. Here's the storm right here. And the storm is about 20 miles away. And you can hear the lightning right there. That's a storm right there. But but it's not a big storm, but you can hear lightning. So hopefully it won't come this way. You can hear that lightning, it's pretty loud. He had to turn to starboard a little bit to avoid me because I was riding his path. At the beginning I can see the bow of the boat and now I can see a little bit the port side. So it looks like he's turning. Excellent. No collision right now. Only thing is that lightning over there it sounds pretty loud. I've been fishing here for a little while so and this is a fishing zone here. Lighting sounds pretty bad. It looks like this storm is going to hit us. It's a storm over there. It's coming this way it looks like. So hopefully it doesn't. But that's the colors that is telling you that it's coming this way. This one, they're probably coming this way. But this one is coming this way. So this one definitely, it looks like it's going to hit me. I'm going to get a little bit more time to see what happens. But you can hear the thunder over there. Doesn't sound good. I'm gonna pick up and go. The storm is too close and I have to go around it. And it has a lot of lightning. Good fortune. This is 
the lightning. When you're here, the lightning's gonna look for the highest point. And I don't wanna be the highest point. So, there it is. If I would've stayed there, the storm was going right at me. The good thing is, I got one big snapper on this big. That's perfect. Snapper season is going to be over soon. It's only four days. And it's almost gone. is the one that I avoided.